We are fine here, but it looks like over the weekend there'll be several forecasting issues that develop. First of all, it'll be the thin ice this weekend. I've had several people tell me, hey, we're headed out on lakes and ponds to do ice fishing. Boy, be very, very careful during this upcoming weekend because we've had so many days above freezing now. And also, we've got ice on the Wabash that is starting to break up, so be careful out there. Notice on our red cam, you can see the current right here reflecting off the lights. The rest is ice, so uh, keep an eye on the kids this weekend. If you've got a farm pond, just stay off the ice and don't walk across it if you can. Let's go to Precision really quickly now, and you'll notice that we've got some weather advisories to talk about. These are freezing fog advisories here in parts of Illinois in this greenish color. The gray are dense fog advisories. Notice how they cover a big part of the Midwest. That'll be the other weather issue over the next several nights. Areas of dense freezing fog and some patchy black ice. Good news is it'll be a dry weekend because this big storm system will stay south of our area. Let's go back to 3D and look at the weather stories here over the next several days. Again, we've got the foggy nights, patchy black ice and thin ice on lakes and ponds. Wet and warm pattern later next week with some significant rainfall in the forecast. So tonight though, temperatures running in the 20s for your overnight lows. 20 at Winnemac to about 25 down at Crawfordsville. Highs tomorrow running in the upper 30s in the far north to right on 41 in the south. 40 at Monticello, 40 at Logansport. And it'll be mostly cloudy day. The fog that develops tonight will tend to lift during the afternoon, but there will still be a thick haze and dampness in the air. So again, over the next few nights, the fog will be the weather story, but at least dry during the day. 41 on Saturday, 43 on Sunday. A little more sunshine as we get in late in the weekend and especially early next week. But then the warmer air arrives, upper 40s to right around 50 on Tuesday and low 50s Wednesday through Friday with several waves of rain coming through with areas of fog and then even warmer with a good deal of rain coming up next weekend. Total rainfall one to three inches and we'll watch for the potential of flooding. 25 tonight, partial clearing, but areas of dense freezing fog and watch for some patchy black ice. Tomorrow fog decreasing, 41 with mostly cloudy skies and finally 43 Sunday, mid 40s Monday, near 50 Tuesday, but low 50s with rain as we head into next week and that rain could really start to add up. Several days of rain are possible.